Now we're gonna get into one of the most exciting aspects of using your Mevos, which is switching camera angles using your phone or tablet. And of course, the main event, which is streaming to your favorite destination. There's a lot to cover here, so let's hop right in. First off, let's see how to switch camera angles. With Multicam open and your Mevos connected, things should look like this. As I mentioned before, the top area shows which Mevo is gonna be broadcast into your stream. This is also what will be captured if you're recording. Below that, we have the three Mevo camera feeds with a red box around which one is currently selected and ready to be broadcast. Switching couldn't be easier. You just tap to change cameras. If you want, you can customize the transition type and length using the three dots at the bottom right of the main multicam screen and choosing transition type. If you don't want to switch manually between angles on your stream, you can use this neat feature called the Auto Director. This allows you to cycle between your cameras continuously. To do that, go into the three dot menu at the bottom right and select Auto Director. Then you pick your cameras that you want to prioritize. It'll switch between all of them, but the Auto Director will spend more time on the chosen angles. Make sure you toggle on the Auto Director. And you can also set the amount of time to stay on each angle. Okay, I swear I'm not tapping the screen, and you can now see the angles all switching on their own. Now we're over to the next shot, and so on. At any point, if you want to go back to where you can see your camera feeds and switch between angles, just press the icon to the right of the blue plus sign. Okay, now we're all ready to go live. You can run your stream to virtually any destination using the built-in integrations. There are a bunch of popular ones already there but you can also push your stream to anywhere using RTMP. Let's run through an example using Vimeo. First, it'll ask you to sign in. When prompted, allow the correct access, then create a new event. Here you can select privacy settings. If you want to do just a test, it's useful to set the privacy to only me. Then save your event, and then select it. Here you'll see the option to record the stream with a toggle in the bottom left. If it's on, you'll record directly to your device, so make sure you have enough space. You'll also see the ability to change the quality of your stream. There are lots of options here, but just make sure to stay within the limitations of your network speed so you don't get glitches in your stream. You'll only be able to set your stream quality as high as the camera input quality for your Mevos. So if you need to change that, just bounce over to the main multicam screen, press those three dots in the bottom right, and select camera input quality. There, you'll need to make sure your input quality is set as high as you want your stream quality to be. Note that this will cause your Mevos to reconnect. Okay, you're all set. Press go live. If you're recording, you may get prompted to allow access to your photos, so approve that. Then you'll see a spinning icon for a moment as it connects to your destination. Once it's connected, the record and live buttons will light up red. Depending on your destination, you may not be live yet though. Some destinations require you to approve the stream to go live from their own platform as an extra step. This allows pre-stream testing and final checks once Multicam starts pushing its feed to your destination. Once you're done with your stream, you can press the live button again to end the stream. If you want, it gives you the option to keep recording even if you've ended your stream. As you can see, running a stream can be super quick and easy. You can literally stream within minutes of getting set up. Or you can level up your streams by deep diving under the hood with all of the power features. Either way, it's up to you. In our next video, we'll cover audio. I'll catch you there.